of 1967 Chevrolet Camaro radio original AM radio uh, we completely restored the face on it polished all the push buttons the background and all has been redone and we done a conversion on it it now has AM FM stereo four channels out 45 watts it has auxiliary in Bluetooth and voice command. It's got five pre-outs across the back if you want to add an amp to any speaker or add a sub. We just basically refreshed the case on it, wiped it down, and added a conversion. Went through the tuner on it and all. And uh, now we've got a actual working 67 radio. It was originally AM radio, now it's AM FM. Right now you're on FM stereo. Want to go to AM? You just turn it off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. Yeah, well, we are. Th Thank you very much, and thanks, longtime friend of the show, hit songwriter. Turn it off and right back on. Takes you to FM radio. You have a uh, treble and bass, like you always had. Now you also have fader and balance. If you find the center notch on this, you can also go to fader by going clockwise twice, like a 12 to 2 motion. It will beep and put you in the fader mode. If you got four speakers plugged up, three or four. We're going to do that right now. Put it on some good music so we can listen to it. We're gonna go one, two. There's your rears. There's your fronts. As long as you're moving the pot, it will stay in that mode until you find what you want. When you get done, just stop. Now we're back on treble and bass. center notch again and this time we're gonna go counterclockwise twice that's gonna put us into balance mode right and left as your right speakers as your lefts as long as you're moving it all right we're gonna stop back on treble and bass That's how your uh, toner, balance, fader all work together on this radio. Your auxiliary end, you'll get this cable here that you can hide in your car, anywhere. On, a lot of people stick it on the dash or in the glove box. Some even put it in the ashtray. And then you'll get the mail to mail that will come with it. Why not do it from all the wiring up here? that you can plug in your device and all you do is plug your device in you don't have to touch the radio turn it on turn it go to music it'll automatically switch to it I used to sing ready to come off your device auxiliary in you just turn it off or unplug it the radio will take 20 seconds it'll cycle back around and go back to where you had it if you don't want to wait the 20 seconds you just simply turn it off and right back on it knows where you were at that's how your auxiliary in works my battery's about dead on that little thing That little beep you heard, since we did turn it off and back on, 
says that it's paired right back up to my phone. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the pair up for you and show you how your Bluetooth and your voice command work. First thing we're gonna do is bring the phone up and we're gonna turn the Bluetooth off. Go to settings. Come on, phone. And see, it says connect. We're gonna tell it to forget that device. All right, we're going to turn it off. We're going to pair it up back to the phone. All you do is take your volume knob, get you just a little volume, and go up twice. That beep, now it showed up on my phone, we're just going to tap on it. And it will beep to let us know that it's finished pairing up. We're connected. First thing we're going to do, this is your mic up here. I just stuck it right there. It's got plenty of cord with it. You can run it up over your sun visor or wherever you want to. Uh, we're going to do a voice command on it. Show you how that works. Take the volume knob again, just like you did to pair up the phone. And we're going to turn it up twice. Play music. I found some information about Wadeen, Chris Christopherson's song on Wikipedia. Would you like me to read it to you? No. Okay, I won't read it. Sometimes my phone don't understand redneck. Let's do it again. Play music. going to my music. But if you want to change your songs, all you do is you can do it with the push button or just take the tuning knob and turn it up one click. And it will change the songs for you. Uh, and basically the story... At that time, uh, oh gosh, if I can... When we heard that... You can use the push buttons or the tuner. That will change your songs. If you want to back up, just go the opposite direction. It will back up and repeat for you. Same method on answering a phone call. Your phone call will come in. The music will die. You'll hear it ringing through your speakers. Turn it up just a little bit. Take that tuning knob and turn it up one click to answer the call. And when you're done, or if you don't want to answer the call, when you're done, just turn it down one click or let the phone hang up by itself and go right back to where you're at. Uh, you don't have to use voice command. We're going to turn this one off. Now it's going to go right back to radio. It will let you know if you get emails in, whatever, it will make a noise. Now we're going back to stereo. All your presets still work. Pull them out, push them back in wherever you want it to go. And you, like I said, you don't have to use the voice command. If you want to go back to the phone, just press it. Stop music. Let's put it in pause. We're going to take the phone and turn it off and listen. You can hear it click. Now we're going back to radio. That's basically your 1970, 1967 Camaro original AM radio. It's completely redone. Uh, should be ready to ship out probably Tuesday or Wednesday. I like to run them for a couple days, make sure everything is right on them before I ship them out. I appreciate you letting me do it for you, though. Thank you very much.